Okay, are you ready? Yep. Let's do this. Okay. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are. That's not the key. Oh, sorry. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Hey, that's not still the key. Oh, one more time. Yeah. Please. I'm one out. Time. Hey, one more chance, please. Oh man. Hello, good morning. My name is Chris Ebute. Has that ever happened to you before? Where you are expected, you are in the front of the keyboard and you are expected to accompany a song and then you are finding it difficult to figure out the key of the song. Has it ever happened to you before? If, has, if it has happened to you before, don't be discouraged. It's part of the journey. It's a process. You have to pass through that process to become uh, a good pianist. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's part of the process. And if you, if you are playing piano, you have never had that experience, then something is wrong somewhere because it is one of the roads that will take you to becoming a good yeah, and a professional pianist. Yeah, so it is normal. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to find the key of a song using your ear. You know, you're, you're in front of the keyboard and you're expected to accompany uh, that music or that song with your piano and there's no music score, no music sheet in front of you and you expect it to accompany that song. How do you do it? How do you identify the key of that song? That's what I want to talk about in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, the first point I want to talk about is train your ear to identify musical sounds. Very important. You need to train your ear to identify musical sounds uh you know just the way it just the way it applies in every profession if you want to be a doctor you want to be a lawyer if you want to be an engineer you have to train yourself in that field you know to be able to do the the job that people in that field uh, do so uh same way you have to if you want to begin to identify musical ear if you want to be able to figure out the key of a song you have to train your ear to uh, be able to do that and so one of the things you need to do is Engaging in ear training, several ear training exercises. I did a video recently talking about uh, seven ear training exercises you need to do to develop your music ear. So I'll, I'll leave a, a link of the video at the description. You need to go to that, go back to the video. If you don't have um, any ear training exercises you are doing, that video will help you, give you some ear training exercises which you have to do to be able to develop your music ear. You have to train your ear to identify musical sounds. Very important because this key we are talking about is a sound, is a musical sound. And you should be able to identify that this particular sound out of all the sounds you are hearing. This one is the key of the song. How do you do that? You have to develop your music ear. Very important. Mm? It, it doesn't really take so much time. You just, you just need to be committed to it uh, 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 enough. Committed to it enough. Give it reasonable time every day every week every month and in a short time you'll be able to pick or be able to identify musical sounds because it's very important for you to identify the key of a song so the second point is practice all the 12 major skills on the keyboard now we have 12 major skills one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so you have to practice all of them it, it this this point is also very important because the major skill is what tells you the diatonic notes in any key. The major scale has all the diatonic notes in a particular key. For instance, if you're in the key of C, mm? now the major scale is this, right? Now these are the diatonic notes in this key. Mm? These are the diatonic notes in this key. So what, when I say diatonic, what do I mean? I mean belonging to the key. When I say diatonic, it means belonging to the key. So when I say diatonic notes, it means the notes that belong to a particular key. So these are the notes that belong to the key of C. Any other note is non-diatonic. So that means the black notes are non-diatonic to the key of C. So major scale helps you to know these uh, diatonic notes. It helps you to know the different degrees of a, of a, of a, of a particular key. And if you are practicing, our, our advice is practice with the solfege, so the solfege system, like do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do. So that after a while, you know, if I strike, if you're in the key of C and I, you strike a note, I know that this is so 
la mi fa so now you are able to identify this different degrees of of a particular key so if you go to the key of d practice the major scale also one first reason so that you can know the diatonic notes in the, in that particular key and second reason so that you can be able to identify different sounds of the different degrees of that key see so it's very important in the key of e so practicing the major scale helps you to know the diatonic notes in the key of e any other note outside this note is non diatonic to the key of e so in the key of f so like that you practice the major scale of all the keys it helps you to know the different degree the sound how the different degree sounds yeah so it's very important so i i i've i've done the video before long long ago uh on the major scales maybe i also uh put that description put that uh link the, the link of the video at the description all right so very important the next point is um start playing the melody of several songs yep so you need to get five songs, ten songs, twenty songs, fifty songs, hundred songs. Get them. Get a book. Get write down all the songs, and practice the melodies. The melody of all these songs. It's very important because it it, it, it helps you to know, you know, like I said, it helps you to know different degrees. Like now, if if I'm singing a song and I'm, okay, the song is, uh, Oh Lord my God, how excellent is your name. If I practice. The melody, I will know that it is do fa fa mi mi re 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 do re mi do fa fa mi mi re 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 do re mi. Now, if I know that this is mi re 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 do, I know that my do is my tonic, or my do is the key of that particular song. So, if I know the melody of the song, it helps me to know the key of the song also. So you need to practice different melodies of different songs. It's still part of the journey of training your music ear because as you practice melodies of the song, your ear is uh, registering these uh, this ex this exercises. And then it helps you to easily begin to identify key of a song. Yeah. So practice several melodies of song and then you're able to get the key. So if, for instance, if I, if I want to sing a song and I'm singing like this, um, Glorious God, beautiful King. Now, how do I know the key of the song? If I know the melody, I already know the key. So, 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 re. So, 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 mi. So, 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 re. Mi, fa, mi, re, do, do, do. Is a key. So, where is do? Oh, we are in the key of C. Uh, C. You see? So, 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 re. So, 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 mi, so, so. So you know that your do is your key. So if you can practice melodies hmm, of songs, several melodies of song, it will be easy for you to know the key of a song. This It doesn't take a day. It doesn't take two days, three days. You need to stay long enough in these exercises and in these you know, points for you to be able to identify this key. It's not very difficult. You just, you just need to give reasonable time to it. Yeah. If... As long as you can hear with your ear, you can find the key of a song. You can figure out the key of a song, of any song. Just a matter of time. It takes training. Like I told you, if you want to, if you want to be a doctor, you have to train yourself. You don't just wake up one day, you go to the hospital, you want to treat people. No. You have to train yourself. And the process of training yourself, the time will pass. So, you just have to be patient for that time to pass until you master what you do. Yeah. Now, the last uh, point for this video is figure out the last note of that melody. Figure out the last note of the melody. Yeah, it, this is not a general rule. It's not every melody, every, if not every last note of the melody that is the key of the song. But most, like, most, most of these songs that we sing, the last note is the key of the song. So, for instance, uh, I was singing one, glo glo Glorious God. Beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne. Da. So that's the key of the song. The glorious God, beautiful King, excellent. 
So now you see, so that's the key of the song. So many of this song that we sing, the last note of that melody is the key of the song. Hmm? You are the mighty, let's sing it on another key. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, da. da. You are the mighty God. I'm playing on the key of A. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you see, the last note is the melody. So if it's a major key, if it's a major song, the last note with the key. If though, so you look for the major key. If it's a minor song, the last note of this of the of that melody will be the key. So you look for the minor key. So let for a let's sing a minor song. Um you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Da. So you play on F sharp minor. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. So, like I said, it's not a general rule. It's not every song that the last note of the melody is the tonic. But many of these songs. So if you are a beginner and you are you are not able to identify the key of a song yet, you can use this to reduce your embarrassment, depending when you are able to develop your ear enough to understand you know, the, the music, the, the key of the song. So that will be all. Uh, um, please, if you have any other idea as to how to identify the key of the song, you can leave it at the comment section. And if you have any question or any suggestion, you can also leave it at the comment section. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so that youtube will notify you whenever i post videos and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up thank you so so much all right so hope to see you in the next video bye bye